hey, Diana, so you had to come up a learning curve, as we all do, but you had to come up a pretty steep learning curve as you began to take over a big part of this business. Right. I had to really quickly switch from teaching to... Teaching teenagers. Teaching teenagers science to being in the tasting room and being able to talk about wines with authority. And, and tell me a Overnight, little... Overnight, I had to do that. Tell me a little bit about how that went. So in preparation for that, being an educator, I looked for some information and a book to read. And the book I came up with, which was really helpful to me, is this one. Called? Educating Peter. And it's written by Letty Teague. Um, and what about this book really resonated with you at the so time? So in this book, Letty is, is teaching a friend of hers, Peter Travers, how to taste wine and all about the wine world. And she he's, is, she is the wine, expert. she's the wine columnist for the Wall Street Journal, right. which runs a wine column every Saturday, and she's done that for a long time. Right, and Peter Travers ha, was, is a movie critic, and he didn't know anything about wine. Mm -hmm. So she had several simple lessons to start with, which I thought were great. She teaches you how to taste wine, but one of the most important things was to really solidify in my mind six great wine varietals. Okay. So on the white side, you have Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, and of course, Riesling. Mm -hmm. On the red side, you have Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Pinot Noir. Right, and she says, because I ended up reading this book too after you suggested it to me, she says that one way to get to know wine is to focus, only drink wine from those varieties for a period of time. So, so you pick, pick, pick one. Pick, pick one, pick Pinot Noir, and then for six months. Drink that and pay attention. Yeah. You yeah. need to pay attention. Another way you could do this, and this was a fun thing I did while I was still teaching, was I had a group of friends who were interested in wine, and we would get together and um, bring just that one variety of grape from all over the world, and we would sit and talk about it. So we had a wine club that focused, we used Letty's book as sort of a basis, and we focused on different um, types of wines each time. And I knew of Letty Teague because she came here once, back in 2014. She right, was right. coming to the Finger Lakes to get to um, know some of the newer vineyards and, and winemaking operations. And so she came here and uh, we talked and f I found her to be incredibly down to earth and, and straightforward. And so when I read her book, I thought, you know, this is really um, a, a good book by a good person. Now, one of the other reasons, mm -hmm. one of the other reasons it resonated with me is that I think of how people walk into a wine store and see hundreds or thousands of different bottles of right. wine, and that's a problem. Where do you begin? Well, right, this right. is an idea about where to begin. And for my own sake, when I was becoming more deeply involved with Riesling, that is all I drank for the right. longest period of time. Right. It's just Riesling. And I feel that was certainly something Very that helped helpful. me, got me to where I need to go. Right, right. And so I actually have several copies of this book now and I loan it out to people that we hire in the tasting room so that they can read. They don't need to read the whole thing, but there's certain sections that are really important. And, um, you know, it, it really gives you a good grasp on the wine world. Good so the book is Educating Peter by Letty Teague. Letty Teague, keep up, up the, the good, good work, work. Letty. <laughs>